no matter how good uh, the concept is, no matter how good the service is, if it's not the right time, unfortunately for you, um, hindi talaga yan lilipat. No? Hello! Hello, hello mga ka-Arky! Welcome back! <laughs> oh, welcome back talaga. No? Parang walang nagbago sa ating dalawa, Sir ADL. Batang-bata pa rin tayo. Oo no? nga, same clothes pa din. No? Pero marami tayong uniform, kaya same, same. Ay, mga tatlong peraso or apat ito. <laughs> Oo. Oh, everyday, ito suot natin. Di ba? <laughs> or yan ang proud, suot mo. Proud. <laughs> Oo naman. <laughs> Uh, wearing the same shirt for the start of 2023. Yan ang gusto nating gawin, no, Sir Adriel, di ba? <laughs> Oo. Habang nagbiligo naman, mga ka-arky. Nagbiligo Ay, uh... naman kami. <laughs> Sige. So, pero mm-hmm. sa start of the year, balita ko sa Feng Shui, start din ng, alam mo yun, yung mga business philosophy or mga predictions, no, natin. And... Mm-hmm. Um, balita ko, baka good to start a business this year, like every other year. <laughs> <laughs> lagi, ha? Lagi. Uh, pero, pero, minsan, nakakalimutan din natin yung mga downsides no? mm-hmm. in starting a business. So for today, mga ka-RT, i-discuss natin no? yung mga pitfalls no? when starting a business and how you can avoid them. Yan, maganda yan, no? Kasi, uh, of course, uh, maraming content, maraming video, paano mag-isip ng right business for you, di ba? Yes. So, yung preparation side. So, yeah. itong video na to, Sir Adria, it's about the step two. When you're starting a business, we're focusing on the management side. So, Uh-oh. nakaisip ka na ng business, syempre, huwag natin kalimutan how to manage a business. So, yun ang highlight natin for today. Uh, no. Tama ka, Mario, na marami ng videos on how to start, pero wala nga masyadong videos on how to manage it, how to avoid the mga pitfalls, no? Hindi naman pwede na nandyan lang yung business, no? Tapos, alam mo yun, pinabayaan mo, tapos ikaw, may monkey business na, tapos yung original business mo, um, nakalimutan mo na. So, let's mm-hmm. not do that. So, let's start, mm-hmm. no? Um, but, Uh, before I go through yung top three pitfalls natin sa, on how um, business owners forget to manage their business, may isang exception lang. No? And that exception is timing. No, no matter timing. how good uh, the concept is, no matter how good the service is, if it's not the right time, unfortunately for you, um, hindi talaga yan lilipat. No? No, para lang yan airplane na walang gas. <laughs> Nandyan lang sa tarmac. Nakalimutan mag-gas. <laughs> so, uh, so the examples I can give no, right now sa mga ka-arkin natin ay yung yogurt business ni Dairy Queen sa US noong 1990s na they actually conceptualized it back then. But since hindi siya yung perfect time, nulugi siya. Eh ngayon, sikat na yung yogurt ice cream, di ba? So if, mm. for example, nagawa nila yun mga 2006, 2007, most likely lilipad yun. But since back in 1990, hindi pa yun puso. Um, unfortunately, hindi. No? Um, mm. Another exception, no? or another thing, like just to highlight yung purpose of timing, was yung digital camera ni Koda. It was actually, sila yung first ones to do it. Pero yung gumawa doon, pumunta kay Apple. Dahil sabi ni Koda, uh, hindi pa yung right time or it does not make sense. But right now, sikat yung digital cameras, hindi na yung uh, film. Though meron pa yung film, but it's not as prominent uh, now compared to uh, digital smartphones. So yun lang regarding timing. Uh, so now let's mm-hmm. move to yung top three pitfalls. So the first pitfall, I actually something to, related to sa Kodak uh, example ko, was not open to innovation. 
because when um, the inventor of the digital camera um, pitched it to Kodak, uh, yun nga, yung response nila was um, negative because their focus back then was more on um, yung traditional way or traditional photography. And then since hindi sila um, receptive to it, ayun, slowly um, nag-collapse si Kodak and then now ano na lang sila for printing business, I believe. So it was a big uh, fall talaga from like a, a camera company to now like something to do with printing. So that's actually first, yung not open to innovation. And then mm. second is nakakalimutan yung employees. Um, this is actually quite common nowadays where um, no matter how good your business is, but if you can't keep the people inside your business or your workers, um, most likely along the way, um, yun, hindi mo like hindi magiging successful in business mo or in negotiation. Um, mm-hmm. There are a lot of examples, but from uh, personal experience, I actually worked for a startup for a while, um, actually based in the UK, and then the conditions there was not great for me actually for the whole team uh, simply because yung ideas namin um, were keep rejected tapos the working hours were also long so eventually isa, isa sa amin um, nag-resign no? so then I just recently learned yung startup na yun closed na pala as of today so wala na siya so again uh, treat your employees well and then they will run the business for you and then third, and of course, this is also quite common, hindi customer-centric, yung business. Uh, one of the, actually there are a lot of examples then regarding this, but top of mind was yung, I believe it was Little Caesars or Pizza Hut, yung, or no, this was Pizza Hut pala. Yung kay Pizza Hut was, um, because their specialty was pizza, Pero um, doon sa US naman, they're actually closing a lot of branches simply because yung quality nila um, went down and then they forgot to um, cater to their customers' needs na. Umiba yung taste, umiba yung, um, let's say, preferences nila. So, mayon din competition part. But since mm-hmm. they forgot na yung customer base nila where, like, very specific with their pizza and then they kept changing the menu so you nagiging uh, down your business so as much as possible when we're managing or starting a business always have the customer's needs in mind because sila naman yung bibili sayo, regardless if it's a product or a service and if you forget them of course they will also forget you <laughs> Ganun lang yan. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. And ano, no? um, ideally naman, uh, itong mga key points mo na not o- yung mga common pitfalls, pitfall, dapat uh, alalahanan no, ng bawat uh, gustong maging businessman or businesswoman. No? Ulitin natin, para sa ating mga karki, common pitfalls or some of the common pitfalls ay not open to innovation. Number two, nakalimutan ng mga employees. And number three, not customer-centric. Uh, para sa akin, no, uh, maganda rin siguro to build a team na yes. merong certain expertise or hilig pagdating sa innovation, pagdating sa relationship with the employees, and pagdating sa customer service. Kasi, di ba, Sir Adrian, mamaya yung personality ng isang entrepreneur ay innovation lang. Maganda naman yon. Pero baka mapabayaan naman yung kanyang relationship with the employees or yung kanyang customer service, di ba? So, ideally, dapat yung tatlo, di ba? Meron dapat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, simply because when you're building a company, like what you said, it's a team effort, no? Hindi na naman siya singular effort. Maybe at the start, ito lang mag But as the business grows, you need to uh, bring more people in. And you have to make sure na yung people na yun, are in line with how you envision the company to be. Yun. So, minsan mm-hmm. kasi nakakalimutan din yung vision. Eh. Uh, because if you hire people not in line 
naman with what the company needs or how you want the company to be, mayroon ka down the way no? um, on how to manage the business. Baka may away, tapos that would lead to uh, disputes, and then baka may kasut ka na. And then you also don't want that no? because if there's something happening internally within the company, mayroon daman yan externally ng mga customers. Mm-hmm. And maganda rin no, sa uh, mga boss, sa mga head ng companies, sa mga uh, nag-start or nagsimula ng mga negosyo to really listen to the person in charge for that specific department or for uh-huh. that specific area. So kunwari, yung person in charge for innovation, sabi niya na mag-virtual, uh, let's go virtual, let's go online, diba? Mm-hmm. Kung meron namang facts, kung meron namang data, di ba? Huwag tayong magmagaling kung hindi natin strength yun, di ba? Let's listen to that person, give acknowledgement to that person, and try it out. Di ba? Yes. Kasi yun yung minsan pitfall din eh, di ba? Yung akala natin, ako yung nagsimula ng business, ako yung magaling, ako dapat yung masusunod. Posible yung ikaw yung masunod at the end of the day, pero mas magiging optimal or efficient and effective yung growth ng business kung makikinig dun sa expert sa mga area na yun. Uh-oh. And speaking of data, even if the idea has no data yet, try lang. No? Gawa ka ng prototype. No? Yun. Part din kasi sa ideation process. Eh. Yung prototyping. So kung hindi ka sure, prototype nyo, test nyo. Kung palpa, okay lang yan. Try again. No? Gawa ka ng bagong mm-hmm. ano, prototype based on the failure. No, minsan kasi, um, iniisip na nila, ay, di pa natin ito nagawa. Ay, pangit na. Wag, walang ganyan sa business. Try nyo lang ng try. Um, may, na, may naalala akong business story na yung sa All Birds na she's sinabihan siya na pangit yung idea niya because it was made out of wool, yung sheep wool, yung uh, leather ng shoes. So, in, in this na leather, uh, she pull yung gamit. So, sinabihan siya na pangit. Alam mo, ano, magkano na yung valuation niya ngayon? Oh, magkano na naman. More than ano na, 100 billion na. <laughs> Empire na siya sa US. And mm-hmm. it's actually um, profitable. And uh, and not only profitable, environmentally sustainable. Then. So, do not um, dismiss ideas just because it's crazy. Baka yung crazy idea na yun could be yung ano mo, uh, jackpot mo sa lottery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes yung ideas na yun comes from employees, di ba? So, mm-hmm. yung, we, we, or kayo mga ka-arty na gusto magsimula ng negosyo, uh, please encourage no, yung magiging mga employees or partners ninyo to also contribute their ideas, di ba? Kasi mamaya may idea doon na papatok pala. So, tulad nga nung sinabi ni Sir Adriel, kung susubukan natin siya, hindi naman kailangan bonggang-bongga agad. Maybe yes. a certain small project, paunti-unti, no? Uh, you try it out, and then once you find it effective, you grow it and grow it and grow it hanggang sa magiging part na siya ng operations nitong business na meron kayo. And uh, siguro, uh, for me, uh, one last thing pagdating sa customer service, di ba? I think uh, natutuwa ako, no, pag pumupunta ako sa mga establishments, Sir Adriel, no? Ultimo yung security guard, ultimo yung nagpa-park mm. ng car, they make small talk to you, di ba? Uh, oh, bayan <laughs> din si Kuya Ate na nagsaserve oh. sa restaurant. Hindi masungit oh. yung tinatawagan mo. <laughs> Yan, Totoo yan. Totoo yan. So, uh, may impact yun, no? Pansinin niyo mga ka you go to certain establishments, kung yung guard, yung sales lady, they, they spend time to you. Mararamdaman mo naman yun, eh, kung talagang nagbibigay ng effort sa inyo. Sometimes you're going back, not anymore because of the product or service, but you just want to feel the care and attention given to you by the sales or service people. Ayan. Uh-huh. Kaya napakahalaga yung customer service and training for customer service. Yes. No? And last thing no, regarding customer service, para lang yung dating app. No? 
Hindi ka naman pupunta sa date na ma- alam mo masungit na yung kinakausap mo eh. Pupunta ka naman do- doon sa taong mabait or maganda yung experience. Diba? Medyo weird. Magandang <laughs> experience. Rated G. Rated PG pala. Rated PG. But yeah, you get the point. No? Kung mabait mm-hmm. yung or maganda yung customer experience, the more um, you would patronize the business and the more you would also recommend it to your friends. So yeah. Mm-hmm. At, yeah, mga bin- bin- oh, at mga binanggit natin ngayon, Sir Adrian, mababasa rin yan no, sa iba't ibang mga books at content. no But uh, itong video na to, uh, we summarized it. And sa totoo lang, no, practical naman talaga siya. Um, minsan lang, no, we complicate things, pero the answers yes. are really basic. Ayan. So sana na-appreciate niyo mga ka itong video na ginawa natin para sa inyo. Uh, it's more about managing the business. Uh, we have other videos about starting a business, about starting a franchise, but this time it's about managing a business. So, sana na enjoy nyo to mga kaarki. Yes, and if you wanna know more about franchising, card somewhere here in the top right hand corner or left, or somewhere within this video. And of course, if you like this video and enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell so that you won't miss a day. So, yun. Thank you, Marion. Okay. Sa magandang discussion. See you next week. Ingat mga ka and have a great day. Bye. Bye.